everybody, this is Leslie with Black Dog Vintage and just have to let you know that I picked up a huge auction win today. Uh, normally I have this auction company ship it to me because it's about an hour and a half-ish away from my house, but I was pretty excited to get it because, uh, don't mind Angel, Angel went with me today of course because she's my co-pilot. Um, but I went to go pick it up today because it was a very large win um, in terms of money. <laughs> I spent more than I've ever spent on um, three lots of jewelry. Um, I spent a lot of money and I was so excited to get it and I really didn't want to wait <laughs> to have them ship it. So I decided to, it was a beautiful day. In terms of it was sunny it's cold but it was sunny it was nice nice day for a drive and um so angel and i decided to get in the car and go pick it up and i'll probably have a lot of it available for this week's um live sale uh for vintage jewelry but uh, some of it i know does need to be repaired um because there's a couple like really nice pieces supposedly one of them's a juliana um, I will have to check it but um, and verify it, but it's a beautiful piece and just wait till you see it. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll go ahead and go through this lot of jewelry. It's not like, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes to go through it, but it's gorgeous. These pieces are gorgeous. And uh, there's some Swarovski. There's a Joan Rivers piece and then some really nice, like very vintage um, maybe even a couple like 1920s pieces supposedly that's what the um, auction description said and it was kind of hard to see in some of the pictures but a couple of the bracelets um, really made me look and then there was a couple brutalist tortellani pieces that I had to grab because um, I love tortellani so anyway let's go through let's take a look at these pieces and let me know what you think all right Okay, I just put all these pieces down on my desk. We're gonna take a look, see what we got. Hopefully uh, some of these will be really good. Um, I didn't really take a look and see what had actual like uh, names or anything. Actually, this is gonna be the first time we're all gonna see these together. So you, normally I'll kind of go through it uh, on my own first before I do a video, but this is gonna be the first time, so. Um, this is the Tortellani piece that I saw and I just, I had to have. This is the Zodiac um, cuff bracelet. This is pretty valuable. Um, I, you know, when I saw it, here's the inscription, Tortellani right there. Um, you know, I saw this online um, as, you know, as the lot. And there is just a little bit of wear I think there is a little bit right there, but really, in essence, this is in great condition. Um, the solds on this, um, I saw solds on Worth Point going up to like $400 on this. Um, and this is just really an amazing tortellini, kind of like a brutalist piece. I absolutely thought this was amazing. <laughs> And uh, just really dramatic, really amazing, just gorgeous. And this actually came with the matching necklace. So to have both pieces together, I thought was just amazing. And you've got the zodiac signs around the woman and it's got the necklace here on Believable, absolutely gorgeous. The necklace length on this is about 20 inches. And um, I did not see any comps on the necklace. Um, I didn't look as hard, I guess, but um, there we go. The inscription is the tortellini right there. And um, the bracelet was the only one that I really saw, but to have the matching necklace, the bracelet with the matching necklace. I just, oh my gosh, it's just so gorgeous. So amazing. So I was really excited to see that that set. Um, I've had Tortellani pieces in the past, but 
nothing, nothing like that. That, that was incredible. So super excited to find that piece. Um, I love those rare, bizarre, wild pieces like this. And um, I know a lot of you guys have commented about how I always grab some of these kind of crazy pieces, but oh, look at that. Ah, so amazing. You've got the the ram, I think that's Aries, Taurus the bull. Um, not sure, we've got the Pisces. There's the twins, that's me, Gemini. Um, Scorpion, Scorpio. Yeah, so amazing, so amazing. So anyway, uh, enough about that piece because I could probably go on forever on that one. Um, and then there was, I think I got three lots, three or four lots of jewelry. I can't remember everything. I, the other lot that I got was this necklace and it was this and another one. So this is an amazing kind of like 4th of July style necklace. And this one is made by, here we go. Um, here we go. Come on. Vas Vasari, Vasari. Not as familiar with Vasari. I just really thought this was pretty. Um, and this came in a lot with a Swarovski necklace. So just the kind of like blingy, but I thought this would be so fun, 4th of July kind of theme. So I'm not sure if I'll hold off on this or I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I might hold off on selling this, but I'm not sure. But I thought that was really cool, Vasari. I've never heard of Vasari. I'll have to do a little bit more research on Vasari. Um, but it is probably a little bit more modern of a piece that's got a more modern clasp. So really cool, but it came, this was the other necklace in that lot. And this is, I thought amazing. And this is a Swarovski. And I've never seen one like this. Look at the chain, really cool rope chain, great clasp on it. It's got the, the, um, the clasp with the rhinestones right there. And where is the, where is the, I saw the swan. Is it the swan on, was it on the clasp? I saw it somewhere on here. Oh, there it is. There's the swan. There's our Swarovski swan. So amazing. Isn't this just the coolest? No idea on value on this, haven't looked it up or anything, but I just thought it was gorgeous and unique. And um, it's really long. Both of these are pretty long too. So the Swarovski necklace is 34 inches. So nice long length, kind of a fun length for that. I like these little cabochons in there. And then this Vasari necklace, is um, it does have an extender, but on the shortest length, yeah, probably the shortest length, we're looking at about 20 inches, and then it can go all the way another, uh, another about two and a half. So, you know, 20 to about 22, 22 and a half inches, but such fun little stars on that one. So super cool. Um, did, I get, did I just get three? I can't remember. Did I just get three um, lots? I might have just gotten the three lots. Probably because probably all I could have afforded. I spent a lot of money. This last lot well, those two lots were pretty pricey, but then this last lot was very pricey, which was a majority of this jewelry. So we'll go through this last one here. And I think this was it, yeah. All right, so all of the rest of this was all one lot. It was a, I think it was like a 1920s to 1960s lot and, or 1920s to 80s, because I think there's a Joan Rivers piece in here. I don't know, but I'll bling. And there's this pretty little bow. 
that's really nice and this one does look like it's marked let's see here and this is a Carolee really pretty little Carolee bow very nice we have a stretch kind of a stretch bracelet here this is nice oh this one's marked too love it when they come marked. oh it's a coro and it's a coro pegasus very nice and those all look intact there awesome if you hear angel crunching her bone don't mind her um this is pretty with the pearl and the milk glass very simple but pretty hmm, this is a little loose i might have to figure that one out a little scratch but really pretty a little, little loose there oh we might have to yeah I'm gonna have to see about repairing this one. It's loose, but that's an easy repair, easy fix on that one. Um, let's see here. Oh, this is a cute little, is this a bracelet? Yeah, cute little bracelet with the buckle. Look at that, I've never seen anything like this before. No names on this, but oh my gosh, look at that, so you, just put it on, adjust it to how, it'd be hard to put it on yourself, but adjust it to whatever length you want, I'm guessing, and then buckle it. And then you've got like a little spot to put that in. How adorable is that? Oh my gosh, I love this. That's really cute. I love that. Adorable, adorable, I love it. I love that. Um, okay. He, oh, look at this. So that is Dragon's Breath with some purple, like amethyst stones. That's gorgeous. Whew. And not marked. I'll have to do a little bit of research, see if I can figure maybe if there is maybe an un, you know, maybe I can figure this out if this is maybe a certain maker if i can figure it out by the back or if this is just a gorgeous unmarked piece but that is an absolutely gorgeous unmarked piece and i love this opalescent dragon's breath looking kind of um cabochon and that's just really elegant you've got the little like fleur-de-lis style up on the top here and then amethyst and it just seems to glow like like fire. Oh, gosh, I love that. That's really pretty. Um, here is a nice long gold tone. Looks like some of these need to be cleaned. No big deal. Got a little bit. That's pretty. Nice long length. Let's see if we got a mark. Oh, we do have a mark. And it is uh, Sarah Coventry. Gotta love Sarah. She has just got so many cool designs. This is nice, probably 1970s, I'd say. Cool little 1970s piece. And this looks like it's about 19 inches long. Cool, like a little upside down tulip. Very pretty piece. Here's a cool bracelet. Matte gold with the inset stones. And they all look like they're there. I love this auction house, but I have had pieces that either are missing stones that they haven't disclosed or that have had issues, you know, so I always have to double check. And this is, ooh, this is Swarovski. Thought it might've been, yay. So we've got the little swan right there. So vintage Swarovski, awesome bracelet. Love that bangle, gotta love Swarovski. Oh, look at that. That's, oh, it's missing one piece right there. Dang. 
doesn't look like anything. F oh, no, it's not. It's not. Look at that. It's not. It's just bent. Hold on. Let me see. There we go. Now it's perfect. See, look how easy that was. That is so gorgeous. Wow, I love it. It's a baby brooch, but it is a gorgeous one. Wow. It's a little bit on the older side. You can tell by that pin back. Tell by how far that extends. Wow, that's gorgeous. Whew, love it. Love it. Oh, we got a single earring. Let's see if we can find the other one. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that emerald cut emerald glass. Oh, and the flowers. Oh, so pretty. Is this one marked? Oh, it's marked. Coral. Coral Pegasus. Well loved, but it is a coral. Coral necklace. This is not the original chain. Definitely not the original chain. How do we know this? Well, it's marked, well, 18 karat gold fill or gold plate. But definitely wouldn't be the original chain with that clasp. But you could put that on any chain, I guess. But that is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, with this chain, it's an 18 inch chain. But oh, that is gorgeous. I love that. I love that. Now, if I, you know, I definitely would sell this with the ch this current chain, but. I would probably encourage somebody to maybe find a chain that matched it a little bit better. I don't know. It's a, see how the golds are different, two two tone golds. It's fine, but that's just my my thing. We have a cute little key brooch. Very cute. This looks like it might be a little bit on the newer side but it is very pretty. Is it marked? Oh, Liz Claiborne, Elsie, Liz Claiborne. Not bad, cute. Ooh, look at that. So we've got some Lucite petals. Oh, inset AB stones. These are all glass. And then look at that stone in the center. But these petals are all Lucite, that's cool. Is that, I can't tell, is that newer? Might be newer, might be old. Hmm, it's a mystery. It might be a little bit on the newer side with an, like a throwback old style. I don't know. Hard to tell. Pretty sure that's Lucite. Feels like Lucite, but these are all glass. Dang, that's really cool. I wish there was a name on it. Huh. With that back, it makes me think that it's newer, but it could be me. And look at this. That's cool. And this is either a pendant or brooch. And I thought I saw, is there a name on this one? Ah, on the bottom. Ah, that's the Joan Rivers. That's the Joan Rivers. So that's a really pretty piece. Look at that, very beautiful crystals on that, or faceted glass. That's really pretty. I love the colors, very pretty colors on that. Here we have a black, oh, see, this is a replacement clasp. Easily you could replace this, this clasp, but that is a replacement clasp, oh, darn it. Might have to fix that one. But that is a very pretty, these are plastic beads, but that's super pretty. Um, as is, the way that this is now, we're looking at 14 inches to the smallest, but uh, might have to work on that clasp. Dang, kind of upsets me. 
Um, look at this bracelet. This is gorgeous. That blue. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, is this? Oh, okay. Here's the stone for here. That's an easy fix. I think. Is that the stone? Ooh, it's got to be the stone for there. Doesn't look like it's the same though, does it? Might have to see if I can find a better stone. Looks like that might have been a replacement. But that's not the right stone. It's another fix. See what I mean? Sometimes these are not the right ones. That's a ravioli, and that's not. But I might have, I wonder if I have one that size. Maybe, I might. I have some blue, large blue AB stones, so maybe I might be able to fix that one sooner than later. Put that in the fix file. Fix pile, can't talk. Um, okay, here's those uh, little petal earrings. These are super pretty. These are clips. And, oh, they're BSKs. Ooh, nice. I love BSK. I love the texture of these leaves. They're gorgeous. And those crystals are, oh, dang it. See what I mean? Oh, that's pissing me off. Oh, sorry. That's making me mad. All right, this is pretty. Like the dragonfly. Beautiful stones in this. Newer, but gorgeous. Very pretty. Okay, this is intact, so this is good. Ooh, look at that clasp. Love the clasp on this. Look at the box, box clasp. Love these beads. Look at those beads. Absolutely gorgeous. The pearls, uh, we've got some, some of the coating wearing off, but you know, oh, that's okay. It's not bad. Um, I mean, it kind of almost adds to it. It kind of looks kind of cool like that. Um, because those these beads are kind of have that same effect, but they are these are glass actually. These are all glass beads. Gosh, that's really pretty, really pretty. No marks on this one. Let's get a length. Um, that's about fifteen inches. Not a terrible length. Wow, it's super pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, here's a pretty one. That's a really pretty piece. And that's a trafari. That is a crown trafari. I believe that's a crown over that. I think. And that's a really pretty one. So we've got a nice trafari there. Here's another one of those little small clear brooches. I like these. Um, a lot of people have, you know, mentioned different ways that they use these brooches, these little ones. Um, one of my favorite things is headbands. You get one of those soft cloth headbands and you can put these on the headbands and they look really cool. Um, you can pick up those like kind of like it's a padded headband. You can pick it up and then just put a bunch of those brooches on there. It looks pretty cool. And then this one's really pretty. And looks like we've got, oh, is there a missing stone right there? Might be one tiny missing stone. That's an easy fix. But that's a pretty brooch. And, oh, Swarovski. Well, it's a good thing I have Swarovski stones where I can fix that one. So I will, two. I think there's that's a missing stone too. I will fix those two, and that'll be an easy fix because I have the Swarovski stones to fix it. Ooh, that's a nice piece, and that is a very old piece. That's beautiful. And un, unmarked. Gorgeous. That's a gorgeous piece. Wow, that's nice. Here's another bracelet that came in with this group. This one's really pretty. Hopefully we have all the stones in this one. Oh, 
one stone there. And one stone there. And I think one stone there. At least these are clear, easy fixes. And the sign, oh, and then the stones in there. Um, pretty easy fix on this one. I should be able to fix this relatively quickly and uh, get this one taken care of. At least those baguettes are intact and none of those blue stones are missing. I would have caught that though. I mean, but the little stones, they don't do a close enough, they don't do a close enough uh, photo. So that's an easy fix though. Um, there's a pretty little pendant. That one's not marked. That came in with the whole lot. And that's another pretty little brooch. And is this marked? Yeah, this one's a Coro also. And marked twice Coro, just in case you didn't see it the first time. And then here's one of those little stretchy rhinestone. I've gotten so many of these, and these are fun. And then this is, oh, there's one little one little musical note. Now this is the one that they said was a Juliana, but they did disclose that this one is broken. Um, I don't know that this is a Juliana. Now most Julianas are, you know, the five link. Now there are some Julianas that are fold over and this may very well be one of them. Um, I didn't see it on the website. Um, I did look before I even bid, but regardless, this is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet with the these like watermelon crystals. And I thought, you know, I, I loved it. And I want to do more research on this to see if I can figure out this. I don't know that this is Juliana though. Um, I'm going to look in my book as I have the book. Um, I just feel like I've got to, I don't know. I think I've got a missing, I don't know if I'm missing a, yeah, I've got to get this fixed here. So they've got to connect this here. And then I've got to fix the clasp, but you know, it's actually not a fold over. It's a, it's a push clasp. So I don't know. Well, we'll see. So we're going to see about fixing this, do a little more research on this one. If anybody has any ideas on this, please let me know what you think. I would love to know. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you think about it. Um, but I don't know. I spent all total on all of this jewelry. I spent about $350. Um, I'm hoping, uh, that I didn't spend too much. Let me know what you think. So let me know what your favorite piece is. Let me know what you love. Let me know how you think I did. And, uh, definitely, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe. It's free to subscribe. And, uh, I hope that you give me some opinions on what you think some of this jewelry is, especially this bracelet. I'd love to know what you think about this bracelet and don't you love these stones so much? I just love the stones, if anything. But anyway, please let me know what you think and uh, I will see you on the next video. Don't forget live vintage sales on Thursdays at 7 p.m. So I will see you then. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video or on the next sale. Thanks, love you all, bye.